Adina, you're a neuroscientist and a philosopher, great combination. And I want to explore with you the relationship between cosmos, the universe cosmology, and consciousness, this, uh, this ephemeral ent thing that we, we have, this phenomenal sense in, in ourselves. And the, the positions in this world couldn't be more diverse. Uh, many scientists would feel that consciousness is uh, not just an epiphenomenon, just sort of has, a, but is an accidental product of how what, what the universe threw up. And if you uh, ran the tape differently, it might not have occurred or not occurred here, or just just a random event. Uh, Other scientists uh, believe that somehow consciousness is really a fundamental part. Of, uh, of the cosmos, even though human consciousness certainly has come along very, very recently. I'm um, putting aside theists or people who have religious beliefs who, who invest uh, some sort of non-physical reality. So um, how do you look upon the relationship between the universe and consciousness? Uh, so I believe that consciousness is a real thing. Um, and I think it's uh, uh, the result of some complex organization of matter. Uh, I don't subscribe myself to the idea that every particle mm -hmm. has its own consciousness and we're just, you know, a big conglomeration mm -hmm. of those particles and so we have more consciousness than this mm -hmm. table has. Um, but that's again intuition. I don't have any data that supports one thing or the other, but you know, Everything we know from physics doesn't it doesn't have a place for consciousness or the things that we've explained so far. You know, there's no consciousness variable that plays a role in anything else. Uh, but I do think that um, you know it's an accident of evolution. Uh, maybe it's an accident that was bound to happen. Uh, maybe it's a very unusual an accident that's bound to happen. What does that mean? Well. Uh, if you think about potential phase spaces of the way the world could have evolved, right? Uh, it could be that the particular kind of organization that leads to consciousness could take up a tiny space of that phase, right. larger phase space, or it could be that, that it's a really big uh, space, that there could be many ways of getting mm -hmm. to that point. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, I'm not sure which is true. I think probably I could make an educated guess if I had an idea of what consciousness actually was or what kind of organization was required for consciousness. Uh, but I don't have that. Um, and, but I think, you know, it could not have happened. There are other ways things could have happened, could, things could have evolved such that it could not have happened. But it's probably the case that if the evolution of the organization of matter created things that were you know, enough like biological systems that we have today with certain kinds of capacities, consciousness would have been one of those things that also came along. So, so that way of thinking, you would have no prohibition about consciousness uh, occurring in, in non-biological um, entities or, or organizations. No, not at all. I, I think the possibility of a conscious, you know, silicon-based robot or something like that is perfectly conceivable and I, there's no reason for me to think that it's something very special about neurons in particular or carbon based systems or something like that. I, I have no reason to think that. And if there were no consciousness at all, um, the universe would not have been uh, uh, affected. Uh, some scientists think that that's not the case, whether it's through quantum theory or whether it's through some sort of a, of a teleology in the universe that needs consciousness in some backward causation way. I mean, a lot of people have ideas uh, to yeah. try to uh, uh, show the, uh, the, the deep importance of consciousness, but you don't buy any of that. Uh, I'm, I remain unconvinced. None of it seems very compelling to me, yeah. And so the position that you're in uh, is that consciousness is, is really a, a, an accident and it, it just, and the, the problem I'd have with that is it, it's such an odd thing yeah. it, it, to have uh, the awareness that it's just so uh, out of sync with everything else we know about the physical world that 
um, it's 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 at once so uh, uh, obvious and commonplace in our world, and the other hand, you step back and it's just so radically different. Yeah, which is kind of why I think it's an accident, uh, in the sense that you know it's just one kind of outlier that happened to come to pass. I just think that it doesn't at all diminish the importance of consciousness to think of it as some property of a of physical systems that uh, may not have been if the universe had been some somewhat different. <laughs>